Welcome to the Hyperledger Global Forum 2022. After a lapse of two and a half years, we are meeting again. And uh, it is, gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this conference, fellow open sourcers and friends. What can I say about the events that were swirling around us even last week, it is a wonderful thing that so many people are here. We are here to talk about the program committee and how uh, the talks and presentations were chosen and what kind of um, principles animated those uh, talk, those, uh, you know, those choices. Uh, Jyoti will, uh, will talk more about the principles. I'm here basically to tell you that my name is Vipin Bharatan. I've been associated with uh, Hyperledger since it started, the first ever remote meeting of Hyperledger before it uh, you know, was, was formally constituted. I attended that. And uh, I am also the chair of the Identity Working Group, the Financial Markets SIG. I'm also a Hyperledger ambassador. I am a lab steward. <laughs> I, am, I was in the speaker's uh, uh, list for Hyperledger. So basically, I'm steeped in Hyperledger. I just wanted to introduce the people uh, in the program committee. As you can see, there are a number of people, including now Jyoti, <laughs> uh, and uh, Kamlesh. Uh, these are people who I've dealt with either remotely or in person on many forum, fora. Uh, so for example, uh, Raphael, Belchior, who's uh, the interoperability guru, you know, I read his paper and I used it in other um, places. Uh, now, I hand over to Jyoti uh, for the program committee. Program Thank committee. you, Vipin. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jyoti Panapali. I am a director of blockchain technologies lead from DTCC. I have also been a Hyperledger Foundation community member for five years, Dallas Meetups co-organizer for three plus years, and a first time program committee member with honor. Um, the 18 members that you see um, up there are the program committee members for year 2022. Um, each of the program committee members responsibilities to review the call for proposals and select the content that makes Hyperledger Global Forum a successful event. Um, the program committee members are guided by the foundation's code of conduct and we follow a strict process integrity which is at the core of the entire process. Um, to avoid conflict of interest, just so everyone knows, each committee member uh, uh, recuses themselves from reviewing their own presentations as well as their colleagues, and to also include um, the relevance of content, there's a strict uh, selection criteria that we will follow based on originality of the content, the presentations, the quality of presentations, the diversity. Um, as Daniela says, all are welcome here. and That's our biggest um, guiding force. Um, so we ensure that diversity is also included, be it gender, be it geography, be it um, industry, be it company. And uh, most of all, being a program committee member, um, especially with respect to the quality of content, I am super excited this year because we got close to 190, 200 presentations, but we were only allowed to choose, what, 102? So it was a very, very tough choice, folks. Personally, I will be challenged choosing which 
parallel track I will be sitting through for the next three days and I bet you guys will be challenged as well. Um, we have uh, 33 business tracks and 22 um, technical tracks, so there's a lot of fun content in the mix. What are you excited about, Vipin? Well, um, meeting people, which is always a uh, great pleasure. And of course, this is the time to introduce Daniela Barbosa, general manager of the blockchain, identity, and healthcare, uh, too many things to list. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Daniela, for leading us into this new future. Awesome, Vip, and thank you so much for all the work that you do for our community. It's really fantastic, and you are a core of it, and Jyoti as well over the last five years, yeah. and you're fantastic and wonderful.